far in the north where it's cold and it's snowy, so it's ready to ship for its long Christmas journey. All seemed quite well for this jolly old fellow. The presents were ready, and the mood was quite mellow. But something was wrong, for the workshop was quiet and lacking of songs. What's going on? What could it be? The elves are all gone, but for Twinkle it be! Completely aghast, he looked at those two and he asked through and through, Twinkle and Bob, where'd everyone go? If the elves don't appear, Christmas will be filled with woe! I haven't a clue, said Bob, who was blue. But perhaps these clones know a thing or two. Santa spun around in a hurry, and sure enough, saw some clones in a fury. Oh my sprinkles! shouted the scared Twinkle. They've got loaded guns, which kind of looks fun! Santa raised his hands and surrendered. What's going on? Who sent you offenders? You must come with us, ordered the clone with a fuss. Christmas is over, and your time here is done. We'll see about that said Bob, tipping his hat. For you're not the only one who can handle a gun. With that, Bob took out his pistol and shot a few nearby crystals. While the crowd gave a warning of applause, Twinkle to pull up the startled Santa Claus. In the ensuing confusion, they boarded Santa's ship and left with little intrusion. Santa, what should we do? Our friends are all gone, and I... feel like poo. Who wrote this? Worry not, dear Twinkle and Bob, for we'll find them soon, and there's no need to sob. Traveled around looking day and night, but couldn't find them. They were nowhere in sight. Suddenly, in the bar of villains and scum, they found a clue. Which was right. Look over there! Cried Bob from his chair. A castle of coal. That must be our goal. Indeed it was, for on the top was a sign that read elves in here. Also free pop! With renewed hope, they paid their bill and traveled out to that zombie. Burst through the gates, and sure enough, an army of clones were guarding some elf sized crates. Santa walked from his ship, and he shouted, Release them now, or you'll face a major guilt trip. The clones seemed embodied by the red clad wizard, and from the dark shadows came a cackling sinner. The figure ignited a cool laser, laughed a mean laugh, and swung his new saber at Santa's right calf. You fell for my trap, you foolish old chap! Now I should be a weapon, but it's your only protection! With a sigh and a puff, Santa reached for his saber and gave a loud huff. As all went silent, the two squared off and ready to make things seem rather violent. And then in a flash, the two made a mad dash, and at each other's throats started to swing and splash. But hold on a sec, this doesn't seem right. It's not in the spirit for Santa to fight. So as it turned out, they set down their swords and hugged a big hug without any words. They all became friends, and so, that's the end. Well, that was definitely worse than the first. But anyway, have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday.